Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. And make sure you guys turn on notifications by clicking that bell icon. That way you see my videos every single day. A representative Gomer Mahler needs to be fired and investigated for his part in helping Clinton in the helping the Clinton Foundation make $145 million in Uranium One deal. On Wednesday morning, Representative Louis Gomer appeared on Fox News to discuss Mahler and Rosenstein and their KGB style thuggery. Now, Gomer said not only does Mahler need to be fired, but he also needs to be investigated for his role in the Uranium One scandal, among many other things. Now, when asked if Mueller deserves to be fired, Representative Gomer did not hold back. I, I need to point out that neither Richard Nixon's attorneys during the Watergate crisis nor Bill Clinton's legal counsel in the Starr investigations faced similar treatment from investigators. And what does it tell you that Monday's FBI raid on Michael Cohen's office home and hotel room is the first search of its kind targeting a president's personal lawyer in modern American history? Well, it tells you all you need to know about uh, the kind of person Robert Mueller is. Uh, when Eric Holder and an interview recently said, no, he knows Mueller well, and he's sure he'll get something on on uh, Trump. Uh, he does know Mueller, and in fact, uh, though he was appointed by Bush, uh, Mueller not only finished serving his term as FBI director under Obama and Eric Holder, but they extended him two years. I, I don't know of anybody else that was as crushed as I was because I knew how much damage this man did to the FBI. I would submit he did more damage to the FBI than all the other FBI directors put together since J. Edgar Hoover. He has been a disaster. And while he was FBI director, uh, William Jefferson was being investigated. And I read the affidavit in support of a search warrant they got to bust into a congressional office. Unprecedented, over 200 years, the way you handle the conflict of interest with the congressional privilege being even higher than attorney-client, you always would go to the ethics attorneys here right. at Capitol Hill, and they would, they would take all the things from the congressman's right. office, and they would sort through. Mueller wanted to send a message that you yahoos on on Capitol Hill, we are bigger, we'll threaten you anytime we ask want to, something. and Mueller was clear. And that's exactly what he's doing here. It makes it very clear. You know, Julie, if he finds something in Cohen's possession that indicates that during the attorney-client possession, uh, um, well, during their relationship, attorney-client privilege, yes. Yeah, I know Trump had never said this and never will that, oh yeah, I'm guilty of sin, but say hypothetically he said that. That'd never be admissible in court. Maybe some goofy district judge right. might allow it, but the Supreme Court would never allow for that. The DOJ, so first of all, for, that. for the DOJ to go you. ahead and approve this search warrant to be executed, the SDNY, or the U.S. Attorney yep. for the Southern District of New York, they would not go to a magistrate for a search warrant unless not only probable cause, but that they yeah. indeed had evidence. The question I, is then, why not that subpoena way. that evidence? But why not I subpoena used to that think evidence? That. But after we saw some of the WikiLeaks stuff that uh, the Justice Department got to get all of Verizon records, you know, the Constitution, the Fourth Amendment, it requires specificity. You've got to to describe with particularity the thing to be searched, the things to be obtained. You've got to have probable cause evidence in the sworn testimony to show a crime was committed, and this is going to have evidence to show it. And it was a bubble buster for me because it showed that Mueller and the FBI and the DOJ, uh, they don't care about probable cause, right. and they can always find a judge to give them a warrant. This is all about trying to get something on cold so they can say, you're looking alive for a thousand years. I've seen them do it before. And you just need to tell us, true or not, that Trump did something, some crime, and then you won't be looking at an ending prison system. They will do it. Mueller is corrupt enough, and people have got to come to the, right. to the realization Mueller is not an honest, honorable man. 
and the, he is out to get his people yes. that he doesn't like, and he will do anything to bring them down. So I that's what ask this you is about, about. I got to ask you about what to do with with Mueller. Okay, so yesterday yeah. the president tweeted early, first thing in the morning, attorney-client yeah. privilege is dead, and then he went on to talk about the witch hunt, which he refers to uh, the it Russia investigation as. Okay, so then let me ask you: um, if there was ever a time that President Trump was going to fire. Robert Mueller, the special counsel in this Russian investigation, it would be now. But there were many out there that say that would be an utter disaster if he were to do that right now. What well, do you think, think he should do about Mueller? There is nobody in America that needs firing more than Mueller. He needs not only to be fired, he needs to be investigated for his part in helping the Clinton Foundation make $145 million from the sale of uranium when nobody knew more than Mueller did about the investigation, about the Russian efforts to get our uranium. He participated. He needs to be the target, not investigating. Right. And so nobody deserves to be fired more than he does. But from a political standpoint, when you have people like Lindsey Graham and other Republicans say, oh, no, if he fires Mueller, we're going to have to impeach him, he can't do it politically. Mm -hmm. So what needs to be done, right, we, have to go. we need to fire Rosenstein. He's got to go, and we need the appointment of a second counsel to investigate Comey, his leaks, right. Mueller, and Rosenstein. All of them need to be investigated. It's going to take a second counsel to do that. All right, and that is still possible, um, so we'll it's have to wait and see. All got right, uh, Texas Congressman Louis Gohmert, thank you very much for your time. You. Thank you. Thank Great you. to see you as always. Thank you. John. All right, so be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below, and tell me how you feel about this report. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. Peace.